What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Wednesday, March the 15th, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about some news coming from the Novatech camp. Um, I hope everyone that is uh, active in Novatech and is paying attention to what's going on has had the opportunity to get into the Telegram group that is in the announcements part of your back office. Um, that is the best way to get a part of this Telegram group. But if you have not done that, that's what I'm here for today. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what has been shared with us in this group. I'm actually looking for just kind of scrolling down the Telegram now. So before I, I get too deep into this announcement, I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. All right. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit this uh, uh, subscribe button below. And if you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BLJ, just make sure you hit the notification bell as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get into the Telegram group here. And um, I hope everyone has had the opportunity. There are polls actually going on in this group. Oh, one more thing. Don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man. The WhatsApp man is always in the comments section trying to say, hey, reach out to me, do this, do that. That was never me. It will never be me. It never has been me. So if you get scammed by the WhatsApp man, nothing I can do to help you. All right. So let's just go ahead and jump into the uh, Telegram where we can see some of these polls that we were just talking about. Um, one of the polls that was launched just yesterday, it looks like, or actually it was, to, it was today. I think they had a poll from before. Yeah, they did. So um, they had a poll from the 14th that says, besides for withdrawals being paid consistently, which is obvious, uh, which is the biggest change you would like to see in Novatech? All right. Um, the, th the three choices that they gave were uh, an easier onboarding process that would limit issues with crypto deposits in Novatech, more education about the crypto space and how to navigate it, or more consistent communication so we can have the proper expectations. Of course, overwhelmingly, it was 1,800 votes, almost 1,900 votes for more consistent communication so we can have proper expectation. But here's the problem. There are 14,000 people in this group. Now, why we don't have more than 3,000 people responding to these polls, that's an issue. I, I think, and, and, and that reflects on us. That's, that's on the community. We need, to, we need to let Novatech know what it is that we want from them. We need to take this opportunity now that they're, they're being more communicative with us, right? Though I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tossing the FUD talk to the side for a second, right? I'm taking it from face value of what they're asking, right? And, of course, this poll is closed, and there are other polls open. So I'm expecting to see way more uh, participation in future polls, all right? For us to have 14,000 members in this group from a group that's uh, pretty much only accessible from the back office, that should be an indication of how many people are really active in this opportunity. If we're really active, we need to let Novatech know what it is that we need from them, all right? So here's another change, right? Here's something that is actually a pretty uh, uh, significant change, but I think this is, I just want to preface this, um, I think, in my opinion, that this is a good thing, okay? So before anybody gets their uh, opinion on what I have, you know, well, anyway, you can have whatever opinion you want, but before you start casting judgment or anything like that, I think this is a good thing. So here we go. Dear members, says, as a practice, Novatech has always issued payments to customers on Friday for ROI and again on Saturdays for commissions. While this has never been an issue in the past, with the growing number of customers we are currently experiencing, it's creating an enormous backing from customers who are requesting cash outs on both days. In an effort to streamline the withdrawal process and avoid further delays, we are limiting withdrawals to Mondays only in the hope that those making requests can combine cash outs weekly as opposed to making separate requests daily. We appreciate your understanding as we continue our mission to provide the services everyone has come to rely on. And then it also, I believe, says the same thing in Spanish below it. Now, I think this is great, and I actually want to, I actually want to clap it up for them. I think this is great. Yes, I understand there's so many members a part of Novatech. I mean, Novatech has been a household name for years now. And with its withdrawal parameters being so wide, right, I can see how they would eventually need to catch up with some things, all right? Um, I think this allows them to, you know, get a better streamline of what they want to do. 
and, and how they want to pay and how they're able to release funds to the community, right? Release profits and different things of that nature. Of course, trading accounts are still on froze right now. They're still on freeze. The, the date we're all looking towards for that information is, of course, April 1st. Um, and it, there's no guarantee that it's going to be right back open on April 1st. That's just the date that was given um, from Novatech. So um, what I will say, though, is for those of us that have been seeing some of the changes, right, the, the withdrawal limit changing to 250, I think that's a safe thing. Um, the withdrawal day changing to Monday, right? And, and of course, the whole point in Novatech is to have trading accounts that grow, right? So, you know, I'm not telling anybody what levels to get to, but I know my first goal was to get to VIP. And once I got to VIP, I was like, okay, now I feel like I can do a comfortable withdrawal every week, but I want more. I want more from this. It's working. So that's when I decided to become a President's Club member, all right? But that was my decision. And that was my decision alone. Uh, so everyone sits in a different place in this platform and opportunity. Um, me personally, over the last few weeks, I have not been withdrawn. I have been rolling everything back in my account to earn earnings for the next week. I've been doing that since I got my withdrawal um, from, the, from the withdrawal that I was waiting on from February, early February. I think February 6th was the, no, I think it was either February 6th or the 8th. I don't remember now, but I got it, right? So I just told myself, hey, you know, I'm, I'm cool on withdrawals. I've got some other things working for me. Um, I want to build this thing. If I really believe personally in this, I want to build it so when it gets to the place where it can do more consistent things that we were expecting, you know, that we, the things that we had seen it do uh, for a long, long time, um, I'll be in an even better position than I was when all this started. But that's just me. Not everybody's going to feel that way. And I don't feel that way about every platform. Let's get that correct all right you know platforms have to prove themselves to all of us Novatech has just proven itself to me and if it hasn't proven itself to you that's perfectly fine you're entitled to feel however you want to feel but these parameters are in place and we have to move in the way that they're asking us to move now um, there is an audio note that everyone should get in this group and listen to all right if you have a back office sign into it and get into this group um, well, we won't go into that but I, I believe this is DAP uh, sharing some thoughts. Of course, this group was uh, put together in agreement with Novatech ownership, but led by uh, some of our leaders that are in Novatech. All right. So who better to lead it though, right? Who better to lead it than the people that are on the on the ground floor? Now, today, this is a poll that is open right now. And I implore everyone, there's two polls here with 14,000 people. I'm glad that I'm seeing 3,000 at least have voted. But I would love to see over half the community get involved with this Telegram group and let Novatech know what it is that you want. All right, they're asking. It says, do you like the change that Novatech made in regards to withdrawing only once a week? The three choices are, yes, it makes sense to limit the withdrawals to once a week. No, it should be, uh, I should be able to withdraw every day if I want. Or three, I really don't care as long as I'm able to withdraw. Of course, the overwhelming majority has said, yes, it makes sense to limit withdrawals to once a week. But if that's not how you feel, let it know in the comment. I mean, you only get one vote. You click it one time and your vote is in, all right? Click it two times and your vote is out. When the poll closes, it closes. But I would like to see way more people um, be involved in this right here. And then, of course, the next poll that is up is, how long have you been a member of Novatech? Six months or less, a year or less, two years or less, three years or less, or over three years? There are people in this community that have been here over three years. Can I just clap it up for them real quick? Because they deserve it. They deserve it. There's people that have been in here for three years or less. Got to clap it up for them. 155 of them. 4% of them. You know, two years or less. That's where I sit. You know, 32%. One year or less, 44%. So most of us have been in one year or less. Most of the people in the community have been in a year or less. So they may not have that time that the two years or the three years or the over three years people has to feel comfortable in what Novatech is doing. But I tell you right now, sitting as a person that sits in that two years or less category, you know, I've seen some things in this space. <laughs> and I have not seen uh, a company that would decide to leave us do what Novatech is doing right now. If Novatech decided to leave us, 
anytime soon, then that would be this all of this stuff going on right here would be the first time I've seen it, which of course would be a growth moment for me, right? It's a growth moment for all of us. Going forward, if we decide to stay in this space, we would understand at that point that companies are capable of reeling us in and making us feel like this and that. But at the end of the day, we have to be accountable for our own choices, ladies and gentlemen. In this space that we're in, we don't, we don't, it ain't no come save me. This is a choice. We're here by choice. We're here by choice. At least I am. I'm here because I choose to be. I'm here because it's given me an opportunity that I could not get anywhere else. Flat out. So, with that being said, there are things to be involved with now. As a Novatech community, I think that we need to let Novatech know what it is that we want in the parameters that they're giving us. They've never done anything like this. I, I, I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments if you've ever seen Novatech put out polls and ask you how you feel about some of the changes that they're making. They don't have to do that. They can just make the changes and we just roll with them. I, that's, <laughs> if, if it was my platform, that's what I would do. I just make the changes, y'all. Hey, y'all don't like it? Then we'll deal with it April first. But they're asking us, all right. So let's give them some answers, okay? Um, and they also remind us these polls are not just for fun, ladies and gentlemen. So please participate. They're asking you to participate. They want to know, right? They want to know. Please participate. It allows us to get a pulse on our community so that we can help Novatech understand its members. The leaders are the voice. You members are the pulse. This is an understanding of its community, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Got to clap it up for no And the strides that they're making right now. Now, I can't read Spanish. So I don't know what this, this next post is, but um, you know, I'm sure it has something to do with uh, what has been mentioned up here as well. Because there are many people in this group, of course, they will probably have to ask maybe these questions in, in different languages to get people to... Um, chime in and get their opinions on these different things, all right? So with that being said, uh, this is Novatech. Um, I love the strides that they're making. You know, it, it, it is kind of what it is from uh, um, a withdrawal standpoint. I understand that people, a lot of people got withdrawals yesterday, and a lot of people are still waiting on withdrawals. So I hope more people are getting their withdrawals and waiting on withdrawals, but of course this has been a patience game. For those of you that have decided to stay patient and not let this drive you too crazy, then you're more pleasantly surprised. Some of you were shocked to see your money hit your wallet. You know, um, some people like me just, you know, I just, I'll just stay patient, keep the faith. Now, I have not done a withdrawal since that last one I got. Everything, like I said, I've been rolling it in. That's just my personal strategy, not telling y'all what to do, just telling y'all what I'm choosing to do um, in, this, uh, in, in this unique position that I'm in. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, the changes that are being made. I'm excited about the future of Novatech. With that being said, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by that WhatsApp man because he's in the comments section. He's lurking. And if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.